Lil Nas X has been the talk of the town. As many of you know, he would have the original version of his song removed from the country billboard charts because, according to Billboard, the song was, I quote, not embracing enough elements of today's country music. Many were quick to jump to Lil Nas X's defense, including Billy Ray Cyrus, who would remix the song and help Lil Nas X become an even bigger star. But Nas would pay Billy back by gifting him a Maserati. We're gonna tell you guys all about that and more on Lil Nas X, including how he's been able to obtain a net worth of 4 million bucks in just a few months, and of course, before when Lil Nas X only had 562 in his bank account. Here for you on The Rich Life. What's up cowboys and cowgirls, my name is Jared Bronstein, and today we're going to take a look at the financial come up of the one and only Lil Nas X, and what he spends his fortune on, here for you on The Rich Life. Now I decided to get a little cowboy attire myself, as you guys can see with my little jean, shirt, jacket thing here. I probably was like an idiot. Anyways, we got it before they're famous on Lil Nas X, so be sure to peep that right after this video. And today's trivia question is, who remixed the song and changed the title altogether? Now obviously I'm not talking about the Billy Ray version. Someone took the beat of Lil Nas' song and made their own song from it. You guys gotta let me know in the comments down below who you think did that and what the name of the remix is. I want both answers, the artist and the name of the remix. As always, you guys gotta be sure to let us know in the comments right down below who you wanna see next, and I'll see you guys after the intro. Lil Nas X, real name Montero Lamar Hill, was born on April 9th, 1999 in Atlanta, Georgia. His parents would divorce when he was just six years old, so he'd spend a few years living with his mother and grandmother in Bankhead Courts, which was a housing project in Atlanta before it was destroyed in 2011. Now Lil Nas X would move before it even got destroyed, obviously, living with his dad when he was just nine years old. They lived in a suburb in Cobb County. While attending high school, Hill would show an interest in music, playing trumpet, but would quit early on after fear of being uncool. He would graduate high school in 2017 from Lafayette. Springs and go to the University of West Georgia for a year before dropping out to focus on music. His parents weren't too happy about that, so he'd move in with his sister and support himself by working at Six Flags. Although Lil Nas X would struggle financially, it wouldn't be too long before he'd get a taste of fame and the finer things in life. You guys gotta be sure to check out our Before They're Famous on Lil Nas X, where we go into much more detail about the guy's come up to fame, but today we're focusing on what the guy spends his money on. So let's just get right into it. Because you only had five dollars and sixty-two cents. Oh my God! How did you know that? Well, you're Little Nas X. We have to know that. That's me. After Lil Nas X's Old Town Road would top the Billboard charts and his remix with Billy Ray Cyrus would take the world by storm, Lil Nas X would find himself performing before a Stanley Cup Finals game in Boston, steal the show with a live performance at the BET Awards, and release his first EP on June 21st. And you can be sure the man's getting paid for all of it. His EP7 features a total of 8 tracks, including Old Town Road and a remix of Old Town Road with Billy Ray Cyrus. For starters, Lil Nas X showed his appreciation for what Billy Ray did by gifting him a Maserati Gran Turismo, which has a starting price tag of 150000 This was to celebrate their hit song being number one for seven weeks straight. Hello, come I got on. you something. Wait a minute, there's no way. It's man. yours. Old Town hey, Road, number one, seven yeah. weeks. Hey, hey, seven weeks, man. Yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> The song would also break Drake's record for most US streams in one week with 143 million. In a week. That's wild. But I mean, it's a song that anyone can rock to from kids to adults. It seems that everyone can get behind the horses in the back. Lil Nas X is a rapper, just to clarify, but he loves to dress like a cowboy. I mean, he is from Atlanta, and they got their fair share of cowboys down there, I think. Either way, Lil Nas X can be seen rocking a pair of off-white cowboy boots, which cost just over $1,700. $1,705 to be exact. He also has a Saint Laurent jacket, which is $3,990, and a Saint Laurent shirt, which costs $1,990. Why couldn't they just round it up to like whole numbers? Let's also not forget his $4,800 Gucci jacket, $1,700 Gucci shirt, and $5,400 Gucci pants. Maybe the guy should collab with Gucci Gang CEO Lil Pump. Ash, get it! Yeah, what he said. I'm not gonna try to say it, because when I did say it before, you guys just... He let me know I didn't say it right, so I'm not gonna say that word again. Now, all the clothing I just mentioned is from one magazine shoot alone. Teen Vogue, which Lil Nas X is photographed wearing for his first cover story. Congrats, my man. He's also got a few cowboy hats like every cowboy should, and although prices vary depending on which hat he's rocking, on average, cowboy hats, at least real ones, not like the Molson ones that you can get in the beer packages, can cost anywhere from about 50 bucks up to over $1,500 if you buy this one from Louis Vuitton. But Lil Nas X also loves to rock his bling. 
I couldn't find out too much info on his rings, unfortunately, but I do love his silver horseshoe ring. Just looks really cool. But that's not all the ice this man rocks. He's also got some drip courtesy of King Ice, such as this 15 millimeter 14K gold CSG link chain, which comes in at 200 bucks, and a 14K gold Longhorn gold necklace, which costs 120 bucks. He also, of course, like any good rapper, has gotten himself a pair of grills. Although the price of the grills have not been released, I can tell you he went to Mr. Blink Grills for the diamond teeth, and I doubt they were very cheap. Just like our boy Mike. All right, guys, I've been meaning to show you my grills. Yeah. They're for real. Ooh. Although I can't find where Lil Nas X is currently living, he's been touring all over, so it's more than likely he's just been jumping from hotel to hotel, and I doubt he's been paying for those hotel stays. I also don't know what car he drives, but that's probably just because he gets around everywhere on a horse. What I can tell you is he's a fan of the Stilo Parachute Carrier, which can be seen here and costs 220 bucks. As we previously mentioned, Lil Nas X just dropped his EP called Seven. It's got a total of seven tracks, including the original Old Town Road and the remix, a song called Panini, which might be his next hit single, and a feature from Cardi B called Rodeo, which is my personal favorite. The EP has gotten mixed reviews, but at the time of this recording, three of Lil Nas X's songs songs are in the top 10 of the top 100 songs worldwide, according to Apple Music. So it's safe to say the man's going to be making even more bank as his EP continues to grow on people and the charts. But all the fame and fortune wouldn't come without some drama, as it always does. Just the other night on Twitter, the hashtag Lil Nas X is over party was making its rounds. Over the past few months, Lil Nas X has been linked to a suspended Twitter account with the handle Nas Mirage. Although Lil Nas X has said multiple times the account was not his and that he has absolutely no connection to it, many people think he's lying. Now you guys might be wondering, why would he lie about having an old Twitter account that got suspended? Well, to no surprise, there are screenshots of that Twitter account tweeting out horrible things. More specifically, Islamophobic things such as, I quote, Stop pretending there is no correlation between violence and Islam. Of course, this caused a Twitter frenzy, but Lil Nas X, who claimed he has nothing to do with the account, took time to tweet about it. Now knowing Lil Nas X and the way he is, he tweeted a video with an animation and his track Panini playing in the background captioned, me at the Lil Nas X is over party. So obviously he doesn't seem too concerned about it. It's also important to note that a lot of people tweeting evidence, as we'll call it, linking Lil Nas X to the old Twitter account are fan accounts of Taylor Swift and a K-pop band. People are saying these diehard fans are just trying to get Lil Nas X off the charts so their favorite artists can reclaim their titles on the charts. It's kind of messed up if you ask me. I mean, kind of ruining some guy's career just because you want you know, your favorite artist or band to be on the top charts. I don't know. But as always, only time will tell whether or not Lil Nas X has any relation to the former account. It's also important to note Lil Nas X did claim to run an older Twitter account titled Nas Mirai, which is also claimed to be the successor of Nas Mirage. As always, I want to know your thoughts on the whole situation and of course Lil Nas X's new EP 7. Let me know in the comments down below and I also want to know what your favorite song is from the EP. Like I said, I like Rodeo, but at this time, we're going to be responding to some of your comments from a previous video. Now in the video we did on Bull Bulls before they were famous, I accidentally said his debut album instead of debut game. My bad on that one guys, we do a lot of rappers, a lot of basketball players, I got mixed up between the two just because I go from games to albums, it happens, I'm sorry. A lot of you guys also called me out for saying Bulbul's dad was the tallest player in the NBA, I said he's the second tallest player, we're talking about Manute Bull here, and although a lot of you guys seem to think he was in fact the tallest, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, he wasn't. Now I'm definitely going to mess this guy's name up, I think it's George Maruzen, he was and still is the tallest to ever play in the NBA. Manute Bull was measured at 7'7", but according to Guinness, who take their records very seriously, I mean it's their livelihood, <laughs> Manute Bull was actually 7 feet 6 inches and 3 fourths of an inch, making him literally just a hair smaller than Maruzen. Oh Joanne, said the way I say it, made her day or made her die, made her D. I don't know how I said it in the video to be honest with you guys. Uh, I probably said it wrong, as you guys know I say a lot of things wrong, but doing the best I can guys and I promise over time my pronunciation it probably won't get any better, but I'll keep trying to make it better for you guys. And as always, I want to know if I say something wrong, so always let me know in the comments down below, like you guys always do. But I want to know, how do you properly say it? Is it Mater Die? Mater D? Mater Mater Die? I don't know, it's a hard name to say. If you guys know how to say the name of the high school, let me know in the comments down below. Black Santa said, I want to smoke a bowl with Bull Bull. I see what you did there, that's funny, but... I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon because the NBA is very strict with drug use, obviously, like all professional sports are, which I don't really understand because it's legal in Canada, so technically the Raptors should be able to smoke as much weed as they want because they live in Canada. 
where it's legal. But I don't think that's gonna be a thing anytime soon. I'm curious to know though, if, if it does become legal in the States, do you think like associations like the NBA, NFL, NHL will allow them to smoke weed? It's no different than drinking, right? They're allowed to drink while they play throughout the season, so. I wanna know your thoughts on that in the comments down below. And to wrap it up, guys, well, Bull Bull. His dad, Manu Bull, was apparently a good shooter. I mean, I said he wasn't a good shooter. I looked up his stats. Didn't seem like he was a good shooter. He averaged, I think, 2.9 points per game over his entire career. So, according to statistics, he wasn't a good shooter. But you guys seem to tell me he was a good shooter in the comments down below. And I kind of want to know where you guys get that idea from that he is a good shooter because if someone's averaging two to three points per game throughout their career, probably not the best shooter. I did see someone say he had, I think, six three-pointers in a first half, which is great, but if that was just one game, maybe he had a good game. I'm not trying to disrespect the guy at all. I'm sure he was a great baller, but he was known for his rebounds and his blocks. You know, he had more block shots than he did buckets, so just say it. All right, guys, I'm wrapping this one up. But before we do that, I also gotta answer your trivia question. Aside from Billy Ray Cyrus and Young Thug, in case you guys didn't know, he also remixed Old Town Road. There's an up and coming rapper named Cupcake who decided to remix Old Town Road with her own version called Old Time Ho. Now unfortunately we can't play a snippet on here, but you guys gotta be sure to give it a listen. Just type in on YouTube, Old Time Ho, and you guys will find it. I'm sure you'll enjoy it just as much as I did. My name's Jared Bronstein. If you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, you gotta be sure to do that right now. As always, check out some of the other videos we got for you guys, including our Before They Were Famous on Lil Nas X.